know, guys, Dave Travel Joker. Um, you know, the 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 movie passed two three twenty six million today. Um, is the second to last movie we'll be talking about the box office for. It's the only movie I'm doing a part of the box office tour for. The other two are woke flops that we all know. They have to be roasted, but when, I'm not gonna mention their names. Um, you know. So we have Joker vs. Aquaman, Batman v Superman, which you know, Batman v Superman, Aquaman are also other DC movies. So Joker is literally now so close, literally so close to passing Batman vs. Superman. It is it is it's just gonna pass it within the next gonna pass it. I said it might even pa either pass it. <coughs> This week or next week? Um, this week or next week? Okay, you know, pretty easy for Joker to pass Batman v Superman. Um, especially considering how it did on the dailies. Yeah, we we'll only have two, three more weeks to cover Joker's box office. So people who want who want to see, you know, want to see the Joker box office, you know, only three weeks left. Um, I'll have to find something else to talk about the box office for. Um, you know, probably won't be Star Wars. Um, you know, so here is um, Aquaman. You know, so Joker does similar to Aquaman. It'll probably pass Aquaman lifetime box office. It's about to pass B Batman v Superman because before it was on um, 3 million and now it is almost 1 million, oh, 1.3 million away. But it used to be on three million, five million. You can see here on the charts this is both Aquaman you no know, Joker is the yellow and Aquaman is the blue. So you can see both movies have been heavily closing in on Batman vs Superman. A movie that, you know, both movies didn't have massive opening. Aquaman didn't really have a massive opening. Okay, it only had thirty two million dollar opening, but Joker had a ninety six million opening. And Batman v Superman had a one hundred sixty-six million dollar opening, but these movies are about to pass those two movies. Okay, you know that movie that we can compare to is Spider-Man. We okay, Spider-Man. No, that's not Spider-Man Two. Not Spider-Man Two. Not Spider-Man Two. Spider-Man Two is not the movie we're looking for. We're looking for Spider-Man Three. Okay, you know, and of course, Guardians of Galaxy gonna pass its total. Along, alongside how it will pass Aquaman by the end of its box office one, one run. Yeah, I'm Spider Man. We, of course. <coughs> yeah, um, you have Spider Man free. They don't have sales for Spider Man free, but we're assuming it's between here, so that's another goal. Joker has to pass. I don't know if it'll come into fruition. Um, considering this week's drop, drop. Okay, you know, um, Hunger Games The Mocking Day Part 1 is another movie that may not pass at all. Okay, it's behind Hunger Games as well. So, Joker, I think the finalized box office will probably be around 330 to 3, no, 333 to 335 million. Um, this is a pay, and I'll of course still do the daily box office updates because some people still, of course, watch them. I don't want to discriminate against anyone. Okay, you know, that's not, that's not what I do here. I want, I want people to know. And stay informed that the box office here and it soon is about to pass Alice in the Wonderland as well, which is a movie that opened way more, okay? And also, let's go and also while we're at it, let's debunk the whole Frozen 2 budget, okay? Someone said that Frozen 2's budget was, you know, 43 million, okay? I'll show you a 43 million dollar budget movie, okay? It's called Arctic. It's called Arctic. Dogs, okay. Arctic Dogs is a movie, a forty-three million dollar budget movie. This is a Frozen Two would probably work like if it had a small but if it had that budget of one forty to fifty million, it's actually fifty million dollars. But forty million dollars is worse quality than Arctic Dogs, okay. That's is what you're saying. Frozen Two cost to make. Disney, and of course, every, you know, Disney and Pixar movie costs over $159 million each because, uh, because animation is just super expensive to do. I don't understand how animation is so, costs so much money to make, but here we go, I debunked the Frozen 2 
budget thing, okay? You don't have to tell me, oh, Frozen 2's budget's only 32 million, 3 million, but there's no source of Frozen 2's actual budget, so, which is probably likely in the, um, likely in the, um, 100 plus million, like every other Disney movie out there, and let's basically it. Goodbye.